Today, we're going to learn how to complete worksheets and assignments in Google Classroom. So for example, if your teacher has assigned a worksheet for you in Google Classroom and you want to be able to write on that worksheet, this is the video for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Google Classroom and you'll notice that I have my classroom opened up. I'm a student in this classroom and at the very bottom, I'm going to go to classwork and I see that my teacher has a list of assignments. So I'm going to go to the assignment called Intro to Chemistry Part 2, right there. And I see that my teacher has assigned a worksheet for me. One of those worksheets are called Intro to Matter Worksheet. So I'm going to click on it. And right now, I see that I have this worksheet assignment, but I can't write on it yet. But you'll see at the very top right hand corner, there's an icon and it looks like a pencil. I'm highlighting it right now. So we are going to select that pencil icon. And that allows us to edit and write on our worksheet. So you'll see at the bottom there are a lot of options. There's a pen, for example, that allows us to write like this. There's a highlighter if you ever want to highlight anything. And there's an eraser if you ever want to get rid of those things. So this is a useful way to write on your worksheets. For example, I can zoom in with my two fingers and answer questions and then zoom out. At the very bottom, you'll also see a letter A icon and that allows us to type in our worksheet. So if I select that letter A icon at the bottom and I zoom in, I can put a text box there and I can write a word like that and I can answer a worksheet that way. Please know that this feature doesn't save automatically. So every time you're done with a question or an important part of the worksheet, please go to the top right and hit that save button like so and it will save your document. Now let's say that you weren't done with that worksheet yet. You still need to finish it. We only did a few questions. At the very bottom you'll see that it says your work and it says missing. But if you click on that up arrow, you will see that your worksheet is still there. It says edited intro to matter worksheet, which I've highlighted. And if you click it, that worksheet that we worked on is still here along with all of our answers. So again, if you click on that pencil icon in the top right, we can go back to editing our worksheet writing in answers like so. Again, when we're done with the worksheet, we're going to hit save, which is in the top right. And now our document has been saved. So if we X out of this and we hit that down arrow at the top, we're back in our assignment. Again, notice at the very bottom, it still says your work is missing. So we have to open that space back up. At this point, we have two options. We can either click on our edited worksheet to finish it, or we can turn it in. So at this point, I'm going to say that I'm done with my worksheet. I don't want to edit it anymore, and I'm going to turn it in. So I'm going to select turn in. And then again, and now my worksheet has been submitted. You can hit the down arrow, which is at the top. And now we're back on the assignment page. And if we hit back again, we're back at the classwork page. At this point, we've learned how to annotate and write on an assignment in Google Classroom. Just to reiterate, anytime you'd like to write on an assignment in Google Classroom, simply click on the assignment, find the assignment or the worksheet right here, and hit the pencil icon in the top right. That will bring you to the page that allows you to write and edit all over an assignment. Like so. When you're done, remember to hit save, which is in the top right hand corner. X out and go back. At this point, remember you have two options. Hit the arrow pointing up that says your work and choose to either edit your worksheet further by clicking on it or to turn your worksheet in by clicking turn in. And that is how you 
edit and submit assignments on Google Classroom. I hope this has been helpful.